What's up everybody? Today we're gonna do some hood fishing. We're gonna go to the neighborhood lake, throw some lines in the water. Let's roll. Okay, all over California, they got these lakes. They're man-made lakes that they plop right in between all these neighborhoods. So these hood lakes are filled with fish, all of them. They're very pressured fishing areas. So I like to go with more natural bait. I go with some wax worms or night crawlers, things like that. There's so many people that I see throw lures and jigs and everything else and I like to just go all natural. They'll dance. I'm getting hits right here when we're talking. Alright. Not bad. Waxworm prevails. A little blue. I think they're bluegill sunfish or something like that. I don't know. All right, that wasn't bad, we'll see. That's a start. Go with the more natural baits, definitely. I feel like there's a lot of fishermen, they throw a lot of lures and things like that, so I go all natural. OG drop shot, I see a lot of OG heads. Old fishermen throw drop shots, that's my go-to classic. Let's see if we can get another something. Maybe a bluegill or the sunfish. I already used some cut bait on one of them and I tossed a head out there to see if maybe we can get a catfish or something. But I'm looking for a bass. I know there's bass, sunfish, bluegill in here. I'll take what I can get really. Kind of going for it all. You can't be picky in the hood. There's a lot of people fishing. There was a, there was a little kid fishing here for like 15 minutes next to me. You gotta just do what you can. A lot of the hood fishermen, they move around. That's a tactic I'll use when I don't have the family. Definitely walk around. This dude over here, he's walking around. Fishing in the hood, there's a lot of barking dogs. There's a lot of craziness. There's a lot of people, a lot of sights to see. We got some killer park dancing over here, guys. This stuff is on point, watch these people. They got this little routine, so good. Been watching them for a while while I'm fishing. They're killing this dance, man. Shout out to the park dancers. There we go. Look at. There we go. Okay. Let's see what that is. Feels a little bit. Ah, oh, no. Same, same size. Same size. Got him. Little bluegill, sunfish, whatever you want to call it. Oh, hooked him in the eye. Poor guy. Let's get him out of there. funny when I got all scared. <laughs> See that? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, she, she videoed that. She comes back. That's a hood sight for sure. It was, it was a low rider yeah. with hydraulic turbigo or didn't bite Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. Nice. Bigger and bigger. I told you. I told you. Oh yeah, he's bigger. Yeehaw! Oh, he's, he's hooked right. We got a good hook. Look at that. Alright. Kind of hard to hold. I don't want to get spiked, but they're getting bigger. Let's throw them back in. This is my bait of choice for the bluegill at least. I like going natural because everyone throws all kinds of lures and plastics and things like that. So I go natural guys, at least at these hood lakes. I give these hood fish some good gourmet meals, some uh, natural meals, you know, that all natural. <laughs> let's give them, let's get a couple more. Pan over there. Yeah. See, that's how pressured these fishing areas are guys. You get people fishing right up on your lines. It don't matter. They don't care. As big as the lake is, they won't care. They'll just be fishing right next to you. All right, we got a little hood fishing break right here. We're gonna get some snacks going. We're gonna get those chili wheels right here. Let's get some of these neighborhood chili wheels. What are you getting, Bug? Look at they got all these fruits, all kinds of different toys and things. 
This is a cool little cart right here. Snacking on the side right here where we're fishing. It's perfect. Andrea picked mango, watermelon, and pineapple. Let's see that. With chamoy. Ooh, okay. A little chamoy. Is that like a hot deal? What are these wheels called? These wheels are solid. Delicious. Yeah. Mm. Hood wheels. The spinners. I'm gonna call them spinners. Them tens. They're twenties. Nah, them tens. They're tens, but I keep them clean. <laughs> Last hood video we were trying to make wasn't as late. There we go. Wasn't as good. Another bluegill, another gill. I want that bass. Then we get these foul hooked as well. Foul hook, that's why he felt a little bit bigger than he was. Hood weddings at the park. Nice, taking pictures. It's cool. I got something a little bigger. I think it's a bass. There we go. Wow. Oh, yeah. Alright. Cool. Got a little bass here. Same spot. We haven't had to move. That's a good thing. Nightcrawler too. I hope uh, I hope they're gonna get bigger as well. I'm gonna keep using those nightcrawlers. Wow, he really devoured that thing. Look at that. Don't go past the barb. All right, I'm throwing them back in. I was gonna show the camera, but I can't let that go past the barb. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Had an awesome time showing you the Hood Lake. Caught a couple of fish, small bass, a lot of bluegill, had fun. There's a lot of Hood Lakes in Southern California, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment. If you haven't done it already, subscribe to Mr. E. Claus. Have a wonderful day and be well. Peace.